So you guys are here at the state capitol. And what are you guys here to talk about? We're here to talk about some of the bills that are coming to play for uh, health-related issues. Some of them being like the sugar uh, health impact fee. Uh, there will be the public transit being free for students from kindergarten all the way through college uh, throughout the entire state of California. Uh, there's also one about water and having access to clean water, especially communities that don't have access students you, we're talking to today who are out here trying to help the public. And I'm talking to Dr. Jessica Rodriguez. And what is your background, Dr. Rodriguez? I've got a couple of PhDs, Integrated Psychology. I own Gateway Corp, Integrated Behavioral Health, On-Site Strategies, which is a professional CEU training company. I own Gateway Interventions, and we train and endorse professionals to uh, provide intervention services for uh, addicted individuals and provide the uh, continued care for the families. Uh -huh. I am national. I just came back to the Betty Ford Center. I was one of 24 leaders selected to be uh, trained in uh, 12 core leadership MAT opiate services and uh, live a life to make a difference and help people recover their lives. You are an inspiration to many women. You went from homeless to triple PhD. We're going to take a double PhD. Okay. and own three different uh, uh, divisions of an organization. And, you know, I pushed a cart, lived down there at Loves and Fishes under a bridge. Anything is possible if you believe in hope this much, you can have an extraordinary life. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. All right. What are you doing? We're just going to take a picture. You don't know what to do. You know, health care workers, caregivers, make less than minimum wage, used to. Now they make minimum wage, and we're just out here today to try to encourage health care workers who take care of senior citizens. You never know when you may need a health care worker. So we talked to legislation today to see if we could get $15 an hour for, you know, many health care workers are educated, former nurses, but they help those in need. We're just trying to, trying to help. And hopefully in a few days it will pass and the health care workers who must stand in line at food banks who end up in the welfare system will have the ability to maybe get a better house or be able to uplift themselves.